In this question, we have been asked to arrange in the correct sequence bonding of orthodontic brackets. So here we have been given the various steps that are required for the bonding of brackets such as transfer, positioning, removal of excess etc. And we have to arrange them in the correct sequence. So let us have a look at the sequence of the bonding of orthodontic brackets. Now after the tooth that needs to be bonded has been etched and after the bonding agent has been applied over it, the next step that the uh, clinician is going to do is he's going to pick up the bracket as you can see in image A. Okay, and he's going to apply the adhesive resin over the base of the bracket. So here what you see in this image is a pink colored resin. Okay, this is a uh, color changing type of adhesive. Okay, so after it has been cured, it changes its color from pink to transparent as you can see in image D. Okay, so the uh, clinician will pick up the bracket, apply the adhesive and he's going to transfer it onto the tooth that needs to be bonded. Okay, so he's going to transfer it. Now, once he has transferred the uh, bracket onto the tooth, then he is going to position it. Okay. Now, the positioning needs to be done with any fine instrument. So, you can use a scaler. Okay. Like here in the image, see, you can see you can use a scaler, you can use a probe, you can use a lacron scarver. Basically, you have to uh, align or angulate the bracket along the long axis and the mesodistal position. Okay. The vertical height of the bracket also needs to be checked and this can be done with the help of gauges. So once the clinician is satisfied with the position of the bracket, the next thing that he is going to do is he is going to fit the bracket. Okay, So fitting. In this, whatever instrument was being used to position the bracket, that instrument itself can be used to push the bracket against the tooth surface. Okay, So the single point contact can be applied to push the bracket onto the tooth surface. So what this does is this causes a uniform spread of the adhesive over the base and between the bracket and the tooth and it pushes out all the excess adhesive around the bracket. Okay, this helps to increase the bond strength because now the tooth is going to be fixed firmly against the, uh, the bracket is going to be fixed firmly against the tooth. The adhesive is uniformly spread. There is no space between the tooth and the bracket and the bond strength is going to this is going to help increase the bond strength of the tooth uh, of the bracket on the onto the tooth so the next step after fitting is removal of excess so here i told you all the excess comes out during fitting that is removed with the instrument whichever was used for positioning so here you can see a scaler is being used to remove all this excess now this is a very important step okay now here they are using a color changing type of adhesive so the flash that is the excess adhesive is very clearly seen and can be removed easily however if you are using a tooth colored adhesive then sometimes the flash might be difficult to visualize and it may be left behind so this is very harmful because it can cause plaque accumulation which can lead to gingival irritation and inflammation okay this can also lead to the development of white spot lesions so this is it's important to remove whatever uh, excessive adhesive is present around the bracket and after you are satisfied with the positioning and the removal of excess then we will cure the bracket okay so then after curing the color of the adhesive will ch uh, change from pink to transparent and the bracket will be bonded onto the tooth surface okay so the steps are first is transfer transfer is one positioning is two fitting is three removal of excess is four and curing is five okay so the uh, sequence is a b e c and d so the answer is two that is A, B, E, C and D. Now from this topic of bonding, they can ask you various questions. Okay, They can ask you about the uh, uh, generations of bonding agents. They can ask you the composition of the etchant, the bonding agent, the adhesive. They can ask you the etching time. Okay, They can ask you what is the light source that can be used for curing. Okay, So the different light sources and the wavelength of light that is used for how many seconds do we need to cure how many seconds we need to etch okay so all of these questions are some of the most frequently asked questions from the topic of bonding